Because if y'all knew y'all direct lineage to royalty, how y'all will walk now? Like royalty. You'll treat each other like royalty. There'll be no violence because I know, hey, that's a king just like me. Maybe we could solve this problem like kings. You see that? But today we not learned that. Slavery happened. Now anybody rocking this false image, that fake ass uh, demon, his real name is Caesar Borges. Bring it up. That's his real name, Caesar Borges. Right? He was the son of a pope. And then they paid uh, artists to paint him as the new image. But guess what? Did we have power in our hands like that? No, we didn't. Because what began to happen to us? Slavery. <laughs> Distracted with the lust of this world, not knowing your true purpose in this walk. Because if y'all knew y'all direct lineage to royalty, how y'all will walk now? Like royalty. You'll treat each other like royalty. There'll be no violence because I know, hey, that's a king just like me. Maybe we could solve this problem like kings. You see that? But today we not learned that. Slavery happened, right? Slavery took our minds. We were properly trained. Till this day, we still think we on the bottom. Yes, we on the bottom, but we got tools to get us back on the top. Right. We got to begin to use that. Read what you got. Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Listen up. Who turns the truth of God into a lie? Watch this. Look at this. So you got, read, what, read that scripture again. Who turns the truth of God into a lie? So you got the truth of God. See, the Bible's asking you, who changed the truth of God into a lie? Read. And serve the creature more than the creator. Because the bulk of our people are serving a lie today. When I ask a kid who this is, who they show you that was, who do they tell me it is? They say that's Jesus, right? But nowhere in the Bible is described Jesus as a, a white man. Right. It describes him as a what? Black man. Right. Ro Revelation chapter 114, it describes him to the T. Get it. Now you today, this is your choice. Who, who, who fits this description? Read that. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Come on. Well, and, and the thing is, most of our brothers got tattoos of this lie. Why? They got it. Right. They got the cross, the praying hands, and they got this demon right there. Right. But they didn't even never searched out. The Bring truth. It up. Read what you got. Revelation chapter 1. Here we go. Verse 14. Read. His head. His head. And his head. And his head. Were white like wool. Which one fits that description? This one. So that's strike one. Right. So that lie they gave you, that's a strike. Read. And white and snow. Like snow, like that cotton that you find in the cotton bottle and you find in the medicine, medicine bottles. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Come on, because when, when you drink wine, what happens? The whites of your eyes will turn red. So he's describing Christ to the T. Watch out, come on. And his feet. And his feet, because John is looking at him. He sees his feet. Read. Like a divine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Brown. Those brass statues that you see around here, those are brown. How brown was it? As if they burn uh, in a furnace. If I burn anything, what color is going to turn? Just like that dust of the ground, that black. That's what it's going to turn into. Who is John describing? Who is John? Read verse 1. Verse 1. Who is John describing? Can we, he giving you a list how Christ looked. So that's strike 1, 2, and 3. So that lets you know you out. That image should never be around your perimeter. Right. If anybody show you this in their movies, their little pamphlets that they give out to you, you already know, nah, 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 that's go to Revelation 1 and 14. They kill all that noise right there. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation means revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. Which God gave Come unto him to show unto his servants. His what? His servants. He only gave this information to his servants. But who's his servants? What nationality is his servants? You know what I want. You mean Leviticus. We're going to find out who his servants that he gave this information to. Because all the other nations, they know it, 
They know how your Christ looked, but guess what they did? No, no, put this one away. And let's get this. Let's pump this in the church. Right. Let's pump this lie in the church. Right. Let's put it in movies for them. Right. right? Let's put a movie. Let's hire Mel Gibson to be the director. Bring it out. Right? Read what you got. Right. Oh. Leviticus chapter 25, verse 55. Read. But to me, the children of Israel are uh, what? Our servants. He so remember we just read in Revelation. I reveal this to you, my children, my servants. Now we read it, who are his servants? Not anybody could be his servant. He only chose one nation, Israel. Right. The 12 tribes of Israel to be his servants. That's right. They're the only one that know this information. Right. Everybody else that know the information, what did they do? Did they teach you? No. They hid it and they gave you a lie. Break it out. Remember we read in Ro uh, Roman, say who turned a what? The truth of God into a lie. Who did that? Read. They are my servants. They are God's servants. So the only people that can serve God is the nation of Israel. Bro. Shalom Israel. Osiris Christ bless. I'm Baruch. You can call me Coach B. And I would like to welcome you to a new IUIC TV original series called Win in 10. So make sure that when you come, you're ready. You got your water, you got your floor mat, because we're going to get it in. All right? You can do this from the comfort of your own home. That's a beautiful thing about it. No more excuses. Stop making excuses. Are you ready? Let's get it in. So the pastor, that Chinese pastor, Pat, uh, Pastor uh, Benny Hinn, who's up in there with his white uh, jacket hitting people while they fall out, they all liars. They're all demons. Now, anybody rocking this false image, that fake ass uh, demon, his real name is Caesar Borgias. Bring it out. That's his real name, Caesar Borgias. Right? He was the son of the uh, Pope, and then they paid uh, artists to paint him as the new image. But guess what? Did we have power in our hand to fight that? No, we didn't. Because what began to happen to us? Slavery. Give me that. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Give me that. What began to happen to us? Why couldn't we fight this? Why couldn't we fight it? We ain't had no power yet. There's no power because we, we vexed our God. God got mad at us. You leave it home. We just read, read Judah and you're running. Where are you going? I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Come on. Let's get Judah now. All right? oh, don't go nowhere. This is fishing. Oh, stop. Now, brother asks, how do we know Judah is Judah? Hold on, you listening? Five minutes, five minutes. How do we know who Judah is? Do that. Genesis 49. Get this. Start at verse 1. Genesis chapter 49, verse 1. Read. Hold on, hold on. Brother, you hear me? They preach. Okay, go ahead. We're going to show you. And take your cow unto his son. So the brother asked, how do we know Judah is Judah? Right? right? The so-called American blacks. What proof the Bible gives? It says, gather yourselves together. So we're reading about our forefather, Israel. He told all his sons, come to me. Hey, I got to talk to y'all. I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen to y'all on the last, the last day of the earth. Read. That I may tell you that we shall befall you uh -huh. in the last day. So he's told, telling his 12 sons, listen, I'm going to tell you what everything that's going to happen to y'all in the latter days to your descendants. Read. Gather yourselves together. God said, gather yourself together. Come on. And here. You sons of Jacob. You sons of Jacob, Israel. Read. And hearken unto Israel, your father. Give me that. Now jump out of Judah. Let's go. Verse 8. Uh huh. Judah, thou art he whom thy brother shall praise. So he points to one of his sons, said Judah, which is the fourth son. He said, Judah, you are what? Judah, thou art he whom thy brother shall praise. He said, All your other brothers, the so called West yes. Indies, Haitians, they will praise Judah. They're going to have respect towards Judah. Why? Read. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Read. He said, your hand, Judah, you're going to be face to face with your enemy. You're going to be right. close to your enemies. Right? Because your enemies took us, they took us as slaves. Right. Now listen to the prophecy now. So he said, uh-huh. Say it again. Hell no. Right. <laughs> no, the, the Bible said never trust your enemies. Right. Would friends do this to you? No. Okay, so hold on. You had a good question. We'll answer it. Go ahead. Thy head shall be in the neck of thy enemies. So this is the Bible prophecy. What's going to happen to Judah? Judah, the Bible said, your brother's going to have respect to you. That means what was going on in the early 30s and all that, right? What was going on? The Black Panther movement, the Civil Rights Movement, right? right. They, uh, they, were, they saw that and they respected Judah. They was like, listen, no, man, they're they, they doing something serious for the freedom of the people. We go, they, go, they took that and they did the same thing in their islands. They show respect. When it comes to fashion, any fashion, where does it begin? 
here with the so-called American blacks, the tribe of Judah. And guess who else who does the same thing? The other islands as well. Everybody else follows. You got Ephraim, uh, which is the Puerto Ricans. They do the same style. Our women started putting red uh, weave in their hair. Guess what? I go to Haiti and I find women wear a uh, weave in their hair, red uh, a color weave in their hair, right? Anywhere. So this is part of the blessing on uh, Judah, or what's going to happen to him in the latter days. This is how we're able to pinpoint who is what? Who is Benjamin? Who is Levi? Read. Thy father's children shall bow down for thee. All the other children will bow down to Judah, because remember, they are the royalty. They, uh, Christ came from that same bloodline. All the kings, when you read about in uh, king, First Kings, Second Kings, Samuel, all of them besides King Saul, right? you read about all of them coming from Judah. All right? You had kings from the northern kingdom as well, which is the so-called Hispanics. But the one kings that God was dealing with was Judah. Read. Right. Judah is a lion's whelp. He described Judah as a what? Lion's whelp. Read. From the prey, my son, mm -hmm. thou art going up. He stooped down. Uh -huh. He crouched as a lion. So he was very powerful. When you read about uh, American blacks in the early, early times, they were ferocious. You couldn't tell them nothing. Right. Malcolm X, that whole movement, right? You couldn't tell them nothing. Nobody could step to them. Right. That's why they had to do what? Assassinate the leaders. Right. All right? They had to assassinate the leaders because it was vicious. Read. And as they old lion, uh -huh. who shall rise him up? Who shall bother him? Nobody can't move him. Read. The scripture shall not depart from Judah. He said the scepter, the power, the royalty shall not leave y'all. Okay? It'll never leave us. Why? Because Christ comes from that same tribe. Right. Christ is called the what? Lion of Judah. Right. Read. Not a lawgiver uh -huh. from between his feet. So he's going to possess the laws, right, and the scepter. He is the high priest and he is the king. That's why honor belongs to Christ, the black messiah. So again, you can drop that. So again, go back to Romans 7, 1, verse 25. Understand this. This is how we need to escape the lies that's been put in front of us. Now what we'll be doing is arming y'all with the truth. Give me John chapter 8, verse 32. Because today, what's your nationality according to the Bible? If I ask y'all, what's your nationality? Oh, is it African American? Did, am I gonna find that in the Bible? You see? You, you, that means you, you're a good slave. You properly trained. <laughs> what the white man gave you, you just repeated it right there. What I ask? What I ask you? What did I ask? You? According to what? According to the Bible. So what's your nationality according to the Bible? What we just taught you, brother? There you go. <laughs> Bruh, come on, wake up, man. You see what I'm saying? There you go. I just told you. you are the people that descend from this Bible. You are the Israelites. You are not African American. You are not that. No. Okay? Even the people in Africa don't call themselves African. You talk to them, they say, no, I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm from Kenya. Congo. They tell you straight up, African, uh, African is a what? White man. What's, what's the proper name? Africanus, Leo Africanus. Leo Scipio Africanus. All right, that's his name. That's a white man. A America Vespucci is another white man who found America. They named the places that they conquered after their names. Okay, give me that. Read what you got first and give me that in uh, Psalms. The, the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Read. And ye shall know. The truth. Today, y'all gonna learn the truth. What is the truth? You are the Israelites. Right. The only way you please your God is by keeping the laws, which is truth. Right. right? Read on. And the truth shall make you free. The understanding that we read it will set you free. Right. Why? Most of our brothers still walking up. They affiliated the gangs. Right? They blowing backs out left and right, not to respect their marriages. Most of the household is being raised by single mothers that next thing you know, the brothers, those same children turn out to be robbers or they laying around and they feminine as hell. We just w w drove up and we saw brothers walking around with girl purses, right? What do they call them today? What the, what's the terminology for them dudes walking around? Huh? A uh, what? Punks, right? But what is it they, they, it's called? It's still a purse. A fanny pack, whatever. That's a women apparel, bro. What, now they got brothers uh, uh, painting their nails like girls. But that's fashion today. And guess what? As soon as we saw brothers walking around with their purse, guess who walked right by them? A girl walking around with the same thing. That's why we're trying to show y'all brothers, it's time for us, the rightful men, to stand up. We need Our, our nation is begging for the men of Israel to stand up and lead. Right, right, Read what right. you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 49 and verse 11. Read. Still in what thoughts? Is that their houses Listen up. shall continue forever. 
so the thoughts of the white man is that they power is gonna continue forever. Read on. In their dwelling places uh -huh. to all generations. Read. They call the lands. They call the lands. Listen up. After their own name. You see that? Africa was named after a white man. America is named after them. Europe, that's all them. They named it after them. But where's your land at? You, you don't know your land. You see that? Your land is Israel. All we have a land. It's called Israel. We fighting to get our land back. Right now, those people that's in Israel today, who do you think they are? You think they, they God's chosen people? No. They stole that land. I'm going to pull it to you. Get that for me. Give me Luke. Luke. 21. Yeah, here you go. Who was in that land? Who was in our land? Because what happened to us? We broke God's commandments. He sucked us into slavery. Scattered us through the four corners of the earth. And a worse nation came and stole our land. Read what you got. The book of Luke. Chapter 21 and verse 21. Come on. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountain. Christ is telling you, hey, listen, I need to hurry up and leave. Because it's going so what's gonna happen is the Roman army is coming to enslave everybody in Jerusalem. Read what you got. And let them which are in the midst of it uh -huh. depart out. So he said, all of y'all that's chilling in Jerusalem, y'all need to leave. Y'all gotta go to Africa, deeper into Africa. Read. And let not them that are in the countries into their end. Come on. For these be the days of vengeance. Come on. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. Uh -huh. But woe to them that are with child. Come on. And to, and to them that give suck in those days. Yeah. Verse come 24. On. Come on. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. We're going to die by the edge of the sword which, by the Roman army. Read. They shall be laid away captive uh -huh. into all nations. We shall be led what? Away captive into all nations. See, I want you to look at this. So Israel is in Northeast Africa. Christ told us to flee deeper into Africa. So we went all over, right? So now we started leaving, uh, uh, fleeing and hiding amongst the real Africans, right? The Zimbabweans, but it was really us. Then we went, came closer and closer to the West Coast. But then what, what did Christ say? Who's gonna live in our land? Read. In Jerusalem uh -huh. shall be tried and down of the Gentiles. Of the who? The Gentiles. So who stays in our land is Gentiles. Those are not God's people. God gave them a name though. That's right. Those same people with the black hats, walking around with all, listen to what God called them. Revelations 2 and 9. Watch this. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Read. I know thy work. This is Christ now. In tribulation. Read. In poverty. Uh-huh. But thou art rich. Christ said, I know y'all poor, but really y'all rich. If y'all stay and hold the line, keep my commandments as the Israelites, y'all gonna possess the kingdom again. Watch this. And I know the blasphemy. I know the lie. Of them. Uh-huh. Which say they are Jews. The ones that say they Jews, but what? And are not. They are not the real Jews. They claim to be Jew. Oh, I'm Yehudi, I'm this, I'm that. But God said, nah, man, those are not the real people. They they pretend to be you, but they're not the real ones. What do they call what did Christ call them? But are the synagogue all Satan? What do you call them? You call them Satan. Satan means deceiver. Call them children of deceivers. Right. So they pretended to be you. They stole the land and then they pretended to be you. God called them the children of Satan. Read. But be the but are the synagogue of Satan. Come on. For none of those things uh -huh. which thou shalt suffer. Mm -hmm. Behold, the devil uh -huh. shall cast some of you into prison. Who call, who controls the prison system? He says some of those same demons, those devils. We said they're gonna throw you in prison for teaching this truth. Right. Because we bring out this information to the to the lost Israelites that right. they know who they Israelites. They still think they African American. Look at you see that? So God, God said, listen. For teaching this information, those same synagogues of Satan, they're going to lock some of us up. Who Why? owns the prison system today? Bring it out. Here you go. Is that it on that? So he letting you know. For teaching this truth that sets you free, makes you, that lets you know, listen, I ain't just an ordinary dude. Lets you know that you're above every nation. Guess what? You got a bigger homework assignment to do right now. You got a big, give me that. De Deuteronomy, read Deuteronomy 7 and 6 real quick. And we'll oh. give you this before I stop. Deuteronomy, seven, Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Come on. For thou art in holy people. God calls the Israelite a holy people. Twelve tribes of Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, uh, and, and native Indians, God calls you Israelites. Right? Read. Unto the Lord thy God. He says you're a special people. Come on. The Lord thy God uh -huh. has chosen thee Come on. to be a special people. Read. Unto himself. Come on. Above all people. What that mean? He said, I chose y'all to be above all people. What does that mean? God, God said, listen, I got a set of people that's above all. 
even today, those living in the suburbs, they believe they are the superior. But that's why you got something called white supremacy, right? Because they think they're, it's their race is superior. But all the time, God is letting you know, no, you're really superior. You're faster. You're stronger. You're smarter, right? You're supposed to be my service that I chose from the beginning. But guess what? Now nah, you want to hit a, hit a jump shot. You want to jump, right? You want to want to get a touchdown. Read on. That I'm part of the face of the earth. Read. The Lord did not set his love upon you. Come on. Nor choose you. Uh -huh. Because you were more in number than any people. So knowing that you are supposed to be up there and rulers of this earth, what kind of, what should you be doing now? How should you walk now? You need to make sure you study this. Right? That information that we gave y'all, y'all need to read that, call it. We got YouTube channels. So y'all need to really get back connected to your heritage. Read now. Tw uh, 10 and 12. This is the last switch I'm going to give y'all, brother. So, because this is information, you ain't going to hear nobody. T.D. Jakes ain't going to uh, preach this to you. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Creflo. Okay, these pastors don't know it. They've been giving that, that suitcase full of money. The white man gave them that suitcase full of money to give y'all lies now. That's why they'll keep you locked up in those churches, three hours singing and dancing, so y'all don't know nothing. Right. Read. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Come on. And now, Israel. Now, you Israelite brothers. Now that y'all know who y'all is, what's, what you need to do now? What do the Lord thy God uh -huh. require you all do? What does he want from you? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. Have a, put some respect on his name. When he told you, when you gives you a law, put some respect on it. Make it your business to follow. It says, don't hate your brother in your heart. You shouldn't be caught up in no beef, right? Honor the Sabbath day. That means Friday sundown. That's a day set apart from the. You ain't in the clubs anymore. All right, you ain't doing it. Those late night parties that set up to kill y'all and have y'all trapped up with these women filled with disease. All that is a trap. Because what? Y'all not keeping the Lord's commandments. Read. To walk in all His ways. Come on. To love Him. And to serve the Lord thy God. What? To serve the Lord thy God. So y'all got a homework assignment to do. Now y'all got to find out how can I please God now. Because you're not on this earth to do your own thing. You're not on here to get rims and go to these hot, hot parties. No. Nah. You're all here to lead your people. You got a lot of, we got a lot of our brothers stuck in these hoods. A lot of our brothers stuck in these jails. Y'all the future leaders, man. Y'all the future leaders to raise up, learn this, and go into those jails and preach to them brothers come up out of those jails. Y'all gotta provide housing. Y'all need to be lawyers, because we need uh, lawyers to help defend us, because we stuck in certain situations. You understand what I'm saying? So y'all not called out here to be no damn hustler, no uh, social media uh, uh, personality, influencer. Y'all call to be leaders, okay? All you when you read the scripture, do, or when you read about Jeremiah, Ezekiel, all those are leaders. Leaders. Oh, my.